It's snowing in Vegas. Isn't this crazy? Yes, crazy! So we're here to check out Retro City Games and I am gonna show you an amazing store. And I can't wait to share what's inside. There's some amazing stuff from Atari to Xbox. Let's take a look. While I was on my trip to Vegas, John Riggs told me to check out this game store. They have two locations and I loved what I got to see inside. So this store is full of collectibles. They have other things other than video games. I'm going to focus on what games I saw when I was there. They had many collectibles and they had a wide variety of items. And, you know, sometimes when you go to a game store, you can tell that they're focusing on certain things. This one had just a nice selection of games from yesteryear's controllers, accessories. Nice to see that classic trackball for the PlayStation 1. But it was really cool to see a store offering physical items, very friendly. And I just wanted to share what I saw because, you know, uh, in my hometown, we don't have many game stores open right now. And so it was nice to go to another location, another state, and see that retro video game stores are open and alive and thriving. So, you know, whatever you're collecting, uh, whether it's GameCube, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo, Atari, Sega, this store had a nice selection of games. No matter what you were into, you could find something for an affordable price. I even found a few items that I picked up that I didn't have. Some were pretty hard to find too. So this, they had this, this is kind of like a classic section. The Atari home computer binder is something I did buy. Pretty odd, but yeah, a lot of classic consoles, uh, Sears Telegames, Super Video Arcade, tons of boxed and classic 2600 and television and ColecoVision games. And television too, nice to see that. But yeah, there was a nice selection. I know there's a lot of fans that watch this channel that are into the classic video games, but they had some uncommon stuff here. You know, sometimes you go to a game store and it's picked over. This one was well stocked and it was well presented. I like the different display cases with some of their more rare and collectible items, but there also was tons of shelves where you could go through and look at some of the more common items. I like that as well. Even had some Odyssey 2 stuff, something you don't see every day. Very sweet to see that. But you know, maybe you're not into classic video games like that, but maybe you're more into imports. They had that as well. They had tons of Super Nintendo imports, something you don't see so much in the States and fairly affordable prices too. So, you know, one thing about Super Nintendo imports, Super Famicom, uh, you, know, you can pick those up pretty, pretty affordably, uh, loose carts. But they had other imports as well. They're all in one little section and it is pretty sweet to see that. I know that uh, some game stores, uh, I'm looking at like thinking like Pink Gorilla Games, they specialize in imports, but it was nice to see this here in Vegas as you know, that's something that I don't see too much. They even had some Famicom carts and I was going through, there was a few I didn't have and definitely wanted to just see what they had and share with you because you might be into that. But they had a ton of other things other than just classic video games, but really focusing on the games. Lots of classic Sega too. Yeah, Sega CD, Sega Saturn, Sega Genesis. Some great titles you don't see that much. Complete in box, Dreamcast as well. I know there's some Dreamcast fans out there, even Game Gear. It was nice to see that as, you know, with the analog pocket out, I know there's some collectors out there looking for that. Sega Master System was represented and, you know, you're gonna have your favorite collectibles that you're pursuing, but it was just, I was just excited going around the store and seeing what different consoles and handhelds as well as, you know, fairly affordable prices too. Here was some more common Sega Genesis games. I've done many of these games in my ranking videos. And, you know, as, as you can see here, nice selection. They even had an Xbox One kiosk with some arcade sticks. Maybe you're a fighting game fan. It was cool to see these uh, collectibles. You don't see these too often and, and they had their box included. Pretty awesome. Had some Star Wars stuff at the store as well. 
everything from comic books, pops, but they even had some 3DO games. Nice to see that. Uh, some turbo graphics. The store was well put together and it was easy to navigate. Everything was organized. The prices were visible. Switch, lots of DS. I know that they're, the DS fans out there are going to like this store. It was a good selection, both loose and complete. Um, you know, so many great games came out on that handheld. N64 was definitely represented. And, you know, uh, even though the N64 didn't have a ton of games released in the U.S., there's still many people out there that pursue it and collect for it. Lots of original NES here was some of the games behind case, but they also had several more. Super Nintendo, they even were selling boxes and had everything from Amiibos to game accessories for Super Famicom and Super Nintendo. And the list goes on and on. But, you know, behind the case, there was more of the collectible games, as you can see here. But they had a, a nice variety of games represented from several decades, even toys. And you know, if you're into collecting lots of different things, this is a store for you. Here's some of the more common Super Nintendo games where you could rummage through. And here's some of the more common NES games. But yeah, it was nice to see this uh, game store thriving. Uh, it was fairly busy when I came in and the customer service was great. So yeah, what do you collect? What are you into? What are you pursuing? As we march towards a more digital future, we're probably gonna see less game stores selling physical items. And this store didn't ask for me to do this. This is something I just wanted to do and share on my channel saying, hey, this is a cool game store. We ought to support it while it's here. You know, because who knows how long physical game stores are gonna be around, you know? Only time will tell. They might be like record stores and go on and on and on, but I predict that there'll be fewer retro game stores in the future as physical items dry up. So let's support them, support your local game store that you like. Here's some PlayStation, nice uncommon games here too. It was nice to see that, uh, you know, there's some games you don't see all the time and some classics as well. Uh, some greatest hits. I love myself some greatest hits. Uh, but, you know, maybe you're into other things, but you no, know, PlayStation is getting harder to find, at least in my area. You know, you don't see that many places sell original PlayStation 1 games. They're pretty picked over. So it was nice to uh, go look and see a selection of PS1, but they also had PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, tons of commons and greatest hits and otherwise but you know maybe you're into some newer games but they they had a nice variety tons of xbox classic xbox i know that there's several games now that are supported backwards compatible with the xbox series x but maybe you're into the original xbox this one had a, a nice selection and definitely it was uh, some seeing some different games in different regions so you know it even had a little bit of wii u i know wii u's getting pretty hard to find and tons of Wii. So uh, whatever you're into, this store probably had a, a selection of games for something that you're pursuing. PlayStation 2, you know, one of the one of the all-time greats. I know there's a lot of PlayStation collectors out there. So many titles, lots of oddities, compilations, greatest hits. Uh, you know, it's a really great console to collect for and backwards compatible with the PlayStation 1. And you know, one that I appreciate collecting for, so many titles though, but you know, this, this store had many PS2 titles, everything from budget releases to RPGs to greatest hits and then some. But you know, it didn't just focus on one console. I love that. And what I really liked seeing was these. It still had lots of Atari and television, ColecoVision, very affordable prices you could just go up and and pick up a game and the price was on it it was nice to see that you know as time moves forward especially the vintage games here this is definitely going to be less represented in stores so any store that has a nice classic game representation gets my thumbs up and this for sure had it even box games 
and pretty good shape still too. Many of these games are, are going on 40 plus years old. So nice to see it represented here. Some classics I saw. And I know there's gonna be people watching this that are gonna be happy to see it. The staff was super friendly. Thank you so much. If you're in the Vegas area and may wanna check out Retro City Games, they do have two locations. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe, folks. This is the Immortal John Hancock, and you have a good day.